as you're gonna see, but uh, it'll give you an idea. We're gonna do a video on this because I searched all through the interwebs and YouTube, and surprisingly, nobody has anything on it. And so I figured, why not me? I have ran out of ideas, and uh, that's why that's one of the reasons I stopped for a while. But that right there is a killer idea. At least I thought so. So I hope it uh is entertaining and gives some information. So sorry, I'm uncomfortable as hell in this chair. Um put that there. So for y'all that don't know, that is uh this little special thing that Copenhagen is doing called Wayman's Reserve. Um They have a poll on their website, copresh.com. You have to be 21 or older. Everybody knows. It's fucking stupid. You can buy it at 18, but you can't go on their website till 21. Um, anyway, so you can vote every day. And they have... Got another picture here. see that good they got blue black and then green and uh i did a little bit of research made some calls got what they would give about it on their website and did some searching around on the interwebs and i put together a little uh piece of news, article, whatever you want to call it, with all the information I could find. Most of it is basic. If you have an account on copress.com and you can make a phone and you can get them to talk to you because you're of age or you can vote for which one you want every day, then clearly you're going to know most of what I say. If not all. But for those of y'all that can't get on the website, this will help a lot. So, they got blue, black, and green. Blue is a long cut. Black is a long cut. Green is an extra fine cut. Which is interesting for winter green. In my opinion. Um, let's start with blue. So, it's a long cut, and they say that they use Mr. Wayman's process and balance dark fire and air-cured tobacco to make a, quote, long-lasting flavor with just the right amount of cool mint. So, it sounds like, to me, Grizzly's been kicking their ass with that dark mint. I believe that's Grizzly. And they're trying to see if people would be interested in it. Um, honestly, the can makes it look pretty damn good. I should also mention that all three of these have been barrel aged, apparently, for three years. So they've known about uh, releasing this for quite a while. I've been thinking about it. Why would they release this uh, whole promotion whole vote thing now and uh I've come to the conclusion that it's probably because after their little shrapnel in the can mishap they probably wanted to make up to the people especially if they lost sales 
which in my opinion is a damn good way to uh, do that. Anyway, so you got black, <clears throat> which most if not all of us know and love very much considering it's seasonal. Um, it's a long cut. They say that they use Mr. Wayman's original, original process by uh, dark fire cured with American hardwood, America, and uh, then they barrel age it for three years. And they say it gives it a quote, earthy, smoky taste. It's dark, rich, and barrel aged tobacco. Um, this whole thing, now I'm thinking about it, would make sense of why black didn't come out for this last season when it was supposed to. Didn't that, I, I believe that normally when they release black every year, it happened before the shrapnel thing, so maybe they were going to do it now. Who knows? Either way, it, it mixes in perfect with the whole, uh, to make up for the whole mishap with the shrapnel. Um, then they got green, which is an extra fine cut. Um, they were pretty prideful over, uh, bragging about how it's the finest cut of tobacco that they've done so far. So my whole concern is when you get their fine cut, it goes everywhere in your mouth. So extra fine cut, I wonder how bad that would be, especially with winter, uh, dark wintergreen. Ooh, imagine swallowing some of that shit. They say it's a modern take on Mr. Wayman's original masterpiece. Um, obviously it's cut finer. That's where extra fine cut comes in. And uh, it gives a dark, rich wintergreen flavor. So it sounds like to me, this is another way of competing with Grizzly with their dark wintergreen that everybody says is successful. Honestly, I think it tastes like crab. Um, I like to stick between Copenhagen and uh, Tough Guy wintergreen. All three are small batches. They have that on the can and uh, their barrel age, they have that on the can as well. I think it's underlined. Yeah, they have barrel aged underlined in bold text and then they have small batches next to it. See if I can show that. See, barrel aged. Small batches. Y'all can't really pick that out. Because I'm using my uh, Galaxy 6. But. It's there. Um, when you call Cope about this. Like their uh, customer service promotions area. First of all. They sent me through several different departments. And they normally don't do that, so I'm wondering if uh, they all didn't know what to what to say. Which I don't blame them honestly, because now that this promotion's out, you have uh, probably going to have competitors trying to figure out as much as they can, so they can get their little team together and create some sort of promotional idea to come out with to counter this to uh, stay hip as well um, but they yeah they give you very 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 basic information like you're better off just looking at the description of each one on the website if you can get in to it um, and then they politely tell you they can't say anything else and they try to end the call, but it's it's politely, so I wasn't mad about it. Um, as I said earlier, you can vote on CopeFresh.com every day, and uh, so far, Black is winning by quite a way. I guess everybody missed it. I know I did.
Last time I checked, which this is now day and a half old, blue was at 20%, black was at 57, and green was in second place at 23%. So if my math is correct, black is 34-ish percent higher than green, which is in second place. Um, but honestly, I don't, even though they're small batches, I'd imagine they'd have to have enough to cir circulate through the U.S. to pretty much every state. Otherwise, people would be pretty fucking mad. I know I would be. Um, I definitely want to get my hand on like 12 cans of each, put some away, and dip the shit out of the others. Because you don't know if they're going to come out with any of these three uh, concepts after. Um, this is another thing I was thinking about. You know, they got all three of these. All three of them have been sitting in barrels for three years. So even though they're doing a poll, wouldn't it make sense for them to release all three of them eventually? Otherwise, they would be wasting a lot of tobacco. Um, yeah. Plus, you have a lot of people that don't go on their website, so uh, even of age people. So a lot of people have no clue, I'd imagine. Um, <clears throat> the cans. Let's go into that a little bit. The cans have a kind of old-fashioned look on the cover. Um, it's definitely completely like rustic and old-fashioned compared to this. The cans, like the whole can, even the back, looks uh, like it's a metal can, aluminum can, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I couldn't really tell the bottom of the can if it's going to be the traditional fiberboard we know and love or the hard plastic or if they're going to make the whole can the metal or aluminum. Um, but it looks pretty much like the whole can, at least in the uh, pictures, are uh, the complete metal or aluminum. And uh, my whole thing with that is, depending on when they release the winner or all of them, whatever happens, if you live in a subtropical, humid type, really hot environment, people, most people leave their dip cans, at least down here, most people leave their dip cans in their back pockets throughout the day or in their trucks, cars. And uh, it gets really hot down here and humid. And it dries the hell out of your cans. And, uh, so with a, a full metal or aluminum can, I'd imagine that it would it'd heat the can up, especially if you have it in your one of your pockets, especially your back, uh, back pocket. Your body heat plus the heat outside and humidity, it'd kind of just like dry it out really bad. Um, to where if you're out west or you're up north and you have the cans with my experiences out west out in Montana and Wyoming and Colorado and stuff like that it wasn't as hot it was still hot but it wasn't as hot so even with the all metal cans I'd imagine it'd be okay wouldn't dry it out completely if at all but yeah that's one of my concerns with uh, down here in the south um Another question I try to get out of the representatives that I talked to was a general time frame of when they would be releasing the winner or all of them. And again, they told me they could not tell me this information at the time and it would be announced at a further date. So 
I'd imagine if they've been doing waiting for this for three years, they've had it planned for three years, and they would have a, a general time frame of when, how long they're going to do the vote, and when they're going to release the winner. So they're just not giving it out. But once again, probably because of a. Uh, competitors and stuff like I said earlier some uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory type shit right there and I'm back um so yeah if you remember uh let's talk about Charlie and the Chocolate Factory yeah if you remember the original Charlie and the Chocolate Factory the older one not the one with Johnny Depp they had a uh, Several times, Willy Wonka referenced uh, how they sent, they've they sent spies into the factory and stuff to get information. So, I'd imagine the reason they're so uh, secretive and uh, drawing blanks with customers asking questions is partially because of that. Um, it's the only thing I can think of, honestly. So, that's what I got so far. If there's any uh, more information they give, then depending on the views and the likes or, or likes and comments I get on this video, uh, if I get more information, then I will make a part two of this to keep it fresh. Um, so I'm going to give you all one last look at two of the cans because it didn't do uh, green very well. That's what it looks like. Look at all the fanciness on the top. Right under uh, Copenhagen. They, uh, it, you can't really see in the picture. But right under Copenhagen, it says, uh, it has Mr. Wayman's signature and cursive that's part of that old rustic book so uh if y'all like this video then please don't be shy leave some likes comment anything if you have more ideas on videos go ahead and leave some comments and uh if i can do them i'll pick them out and i'll do them Thank you guys for being so patient since I had to reshoot this. And uh, yeah, remember, uh, like, subscribe, comment. If this was a useful video, don't be afraid to share it in your circle with all your friends. And uh, always keep your fucking redneck.